Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Tonight, I am smoking my Savinelli 101 Regimental. A beautiful, great smoking pipe, which was gifted to me by none other than Smurfinelli 33 and his wife Kimmy. It's a, <clears throat> an amazing smoking pipe. Just a great smoker. Straighten out that stem, it's just a little cock in there. And in it, I am smoking some Peter Stokeby's proper English. from 419. So that's been stored uh, for about a year. And it's a little bit on the dry side now, so I could probably hydrate that a little bit. It was a little bit dry. And I got a puck. I had pressed, pressed a puck of it in here. There's a, I don't know if you can see that puck, but I got a puck in there as well. But I was just, I'm smoking the loose stuff right now. But, uh, <clears throat> but I did a puck just for storage to see how that stores after a certain amount of time. So it's been a year, so I'll try that soon, I guess. See how it's held up. Another gorgeous night, man. The moon is just straight up above me. And it is crystal clear out here tonight. I mean, there's no haze, no anything. That moon is just beautifully clear and sharp in the sky. Beautiful. It's nice to be smoking a good bowl of tobacco right now. After that last bowl I smoked in my last video. Ugh. Mercy. So I've come to the conclusion that I like Virginia Flakes and twists, but I don't like Virginia ribbon cuts. Uh, I just, they just don't work for me. They taste like cigarettes, you know that? They just, they burn me, they, they, <coughs> they're, um, they burn too hot. I like flakes because they burn really slow. Uh, I could taste the, the sweetness of the tobaccos when, when I fold stuff and twist. They burn slow and, and gentle, and they're, I could taste the tobaccos, and I enjoy them that way. 
but uh, I I I just don't like Virginias that are ribbon cut at all. I think that's they just taste. I just don't like them like that. I think that's basically what it is. But that last one was just, that was the worst one I've ever had. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> this is good stuff here, so. So I've been missing the San Diego Pipe Club's Zoom meetings on Sundays. So they're going to do one tomorrow. We used to have uh, Pipe Club meetings on Sundays, and then we'd have a, a small one on Tuesdays during the week. And so they decided to have a, a Tuesday Zoom meeting tomorrow. I'm going to try and make that one. Uh, it's been a month since I've I've done a Zoom meeting with the San Diego Pipe Club, and I've been missing it. But every Sunday I get I wind up doing stuff and getting busy and doing stuff with the family, and I just don't wind up joining in on the Zoom meetings on Sundays. all the stars tonight. Well, not all the stars, but <coughs> see more stars than I can normally see out here. The sky is so clear and there's no haze, no cloud, no marine layer. It's just clear skies. Surprised it's not colder out here than it is. Usually when it's this clear, it looks cold out. Tomorrow is supposed to be a scorcher. I hope everybody's been doing well. Staying healthy.
we're all doing great here um, for the most part health wise we're doing good uh, nobody's sick or anything like that we all got our little things going on but <clears throat> aches and pains and that kind of stuff but, um, Sadie's got her things going on and she's doing much better now much much better so to those of you guys who were praying for her thank you you, uh, you made a huge difference. She's doing much better. And uh, she spent some time today. She loves doing things with her hands when she's all stressed out. And she likes to either crochet or... Um, she made some, um, some of these... Uh, I forget what you call these. Um... Gosh, these paracord bracelets. So she made a bunch of these. I used to make these years ago. I got a jig for them and all kinds of paracord and clips. And so she's been watching videos on how to make them, and she's going to town making them now. So she made she made me this one today. And She's made four or five of them already. <coughs> trying different, different uh, weaves and knots, and doing all kinds of cool stuff. So that helps her get through. She's her her little uh, when she goes through a a spell with her anxiety and her depression and stuff that that seems to really help her whether it's crocheting or um, origami she used to do origami a lot and just doing things with her hands that gets her mind off of things um, and she's so good at that stuff and so right now this is what she's into is the paracord bracelets and so she's just busting those out right and left, so. Right. So we'll see how long that lasts. So that's what's been going on here, and uh, so I am going to say goodnight and uh, finish this up here, and then I will catch you guys later on in the morning. So I hope you all have a good one. I will catch you later on. Have a good one. God bless.